We're on uh, the top of Otterton Hill in the Lower Otter Valley. This is one of a dozen uh, larch harvesting sites. We are felling our mature, uh, maturing larch in an accelerated felling program to get in front of the spread of Phytophthora remorum, which we believe uh, to be inevitable will come to the, to the estate on the Clinton estate in the Lower Otter Valley. And indeed, this last winter has been, has been found right next door to us in Sidmouth. The crop has taken 50 or 60 years to grow. Uh, it is uh, programmed to be felled, or, or in, in the programme to be felled in the next one, two or three years. And indeed, Austin Hill has been overstood for three or four years. And we're felling it now because uh, if it gets infected, it still has to be felled. But the value of the timber will be heavily uh, reduced because of the infection of a notifiable uh, disease. So time is of the essence to create a fire break as it's the mature stands of, of timber that if they become infected have the potential to multiply the disease up and become plumes of infection to the wider environment. The, the felling area uh, extends right up to the uh, bridleway at the top of Otterton Hill and a, as the trees are felled it will open up the stunning view of the Lower Otter Valley down to Budley Salterton. Phytophthora was first identified in rhododendrons in nursery stock in the early 2000s. In 2009, it was found in a number of uh, larch crops and, and was evident that it had been there for a number of years. And in 2010, 9 and 10, we saw significant felling, very large scale felling in a number of large Forest Commission woodlands around Dartmoor. Uh, the physical crop will be replanted this coming winter and the cycle starts again. We are not planting purely one species. Uh, we are planting uh, a mixture of uh, predominantly Douglas fir with, with some Scots pine, but we're also accepting natural regeneration of, of other native broadleaves, birch, ash and oak that will, that will occur as seedlings on the site. Um, the Douglas fir and Scots at the moment are not susceptible to Phytophthora in, in, in the terms of the disease can't breed on them. However, they, they are, along with many trees, susceptible if there is a large infected source nearby. So we're looking to plant tree species to the best of our knowledge that the disease can't breed on and, and, and move on from. I think the public, uh, as we go forward with plant diseases, has a critical and very important role to play. Particularly uh, help to uh, play their part in stopping to introduce another plant disease like Phytophthora into the UK. Uh, and that comes through asking plant suppliers, the garden centres and the whole horticultural supply chain how, how clean their plants are and can they guarantee that imported container, container plants don't have a Phytophthora or something, something more damaging lurking in with it. Currently there is no quarantine requirement for planted material coming into Europe and that is something that I think is wrong.